Welcome back. So when you're sinking into your couch for a session of doom scrolling or TV binging, most of us probably assume our carbon footprint is pretty low, but the digital world is not as green as we may think. Here to talk us through some tips to reduce our carbon footprint online is digital sustainability expert and founder of Really Good Work, Drew Mins. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Thanks all. It comes as a surprise to a lot of people. What impact does the internet really have on the environment? Yeah, so I think that we need to be mindful that like every action we do online actually requires energy. Mm -hmm. So even just scrolling your phone, you wear it on the battery on your uh, device, you need to charge it again. You don't know where that energy comes from to charge it. Um, even online with the internet, um, we were told that there's this cloud, this magical thing that exists, but that's real. Like there's a data center oh. that stores information and there's oh. an entire infrastructure of cables to get that information to your device. Those all take energy. Yes. Um, they say that if uh, the internet was a country, mm -hmm. it would be the seventh largest Wow. Um, user of wow. energy globally. Wow. Oh my goodness. All right. So we're going to go through uh, a person's typical online behavior in a day, and you're going to give us tips on how we can reduce our carbon footprint. Let's start with the way that we store data. What do we need to know, Drew? Yeah. So um, if you remember USB keys, we yeah. used to carry those around with us. Yeah. Um, like you, in our pockets, we'd have so many of them, they're probably sitting in your drawer now. But uh, now that has moved to online. Mm -hmm. They've moved to these clouds, these data storage centers. Um, so if you want to help the environment, delete old photos and delete your emails. Mm, um, yeah. You don't really need them. They actually take up space. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm just sitting here going like, oh, man. We're saying yeah, but we yeah. have thousands yeah. of yeah. photos on our phone. Oh, man. Right. Yeah. oh God. It is really hard because nobody really taught us, I think, exactly how to manage this kinds of things. But so true. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was always uh, sold to us as magic. Yeah. <laughs> just just technology. It That's right. It was someone else smarter knew how to That's do right. it. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, let's move on to social media. So when it comes to posting online, what are some of the do's and don'ts? Right. So uh, social media is one of the biggest users of energy mm -hmm. um, through this. So if you have uh, a lot of images and videos you're uploading, uh, you can actually have settings within your Instagram and your uh, TikTok app. They're buried very deep, but you can actually reduce the amount of data that's actually being uploaded and downloaded. Okay. Um, and as well, maybe consider what you're sharing. Like, do you need to uh, share a video of fireworks? People mm -hmm. have seen fireworks before. <laughs> Um, right. Suppose they're really good fireworks, uh, too. Right, right. Of yeah, wait, and even like the 4K, like well, you might take a photo right. or something in that. Right. right, yeah. Not everybody has a 4K device as well. Right. And, and mm -hmm. you're not in broadcast. If yes. you're, sending it, you're, you're putting it on your device, on your phone. All right, yeah. that's so, good. All right, yeah. so let's talk about what about doom scrolling, which does anybody know what that means? Yes. Do you know what doom scrolling is? What, what, so first of all, define what is doom scrolling, because I see a lot of people going, I've never heard it. I didn't know up until like two you're, minutes you're ago. You're all so doing bad. it. I guarantee yeah. you're all doing it. So what oh, is yeah. it, Drew? Um, it's just sitting and being hooked onto your device and scrolling and seeing all the negative things that exist in the world yes. and just being brought into more and more of it. Mm -hmm. You mean what we do after work or at work? Yeah. It was what I do all the time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's how right, I so, use the internet. All right. So what about doom scrolling? How can we reduce our carbon? Yeah. Uh, well, just to be mindful of it is that like, there, again, studies have been done that they say that like one minute of scrolling the Instagram news feed emits enough carbon that'd be equivalent to driving a car 13 meters. No way. So again, that's like making sure you're getting the energy to, uh, sorry, the data to your uh, device. So, I mean, easy answer, put your phone down. Yeah. Um, it'll do your brain a lot better. It'll do the environment a lot better as well. Hmm. Um, and, it, and if you can, consider putting your phone in dark mode. So there's the ability to choose between light mode or dark mode for your mm -hmm. interface. It actually uses more energy to light up brighter pixels. Ah. So put your phone in dark mode, you will have to charge your phone less. I love this. It's an actual, yeah. now we have like a kind of reason, a very concrete reason, other than our mental health, right. which is a very good reason. Yeah. But to actually be like, I'm going to be very intentional and I'm going to put the phone away. Yeah. But I'm also that. thinking about how far I would have driven my car in a typical doom scroll. I probably could have driven to <laughs> Chile. <laughs> Right. Good point. Right. Good point. Uh, so is there anything we can change about the way that we work with email, for example? Yeah. Um, free yourself, delete your emails. If, if you know you're not going to use it, don't just mark them as red and let them sit there because, again, they're stored somewhere. Mm -hmm. Delete them. Just get rid of them. Um, do not hoard them. Mm -hmm. um, and unsubscribe. If you uh, know you're okay. not getting another email, you're not interested anymore, just unsubscribe because it will... They, people don't have to send them to you as well. Um, and if you're, again, sending any kind of, like, image, uh, send a link to the image. Do not send, do not download it, save oh. it to your device, and then send it again, because you're just making a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Mm. Okay. A link is a reference to it, so it definitely helps. Okay, yeah, good yeah. to know. Okay, so what about video calls? Uh, you're going to love this. Turn off your camera. 
Oh, what? Sending, sending video over the internet takes a tremendous amount of data. Yeah. So just turn off your video. Uh, tell your boss you're saving the environment. It's a responsible thing to do. <laughs> um, and those blurred backgrounds, they actually require a lot of more energy on your computer to actually generate it. Um, they seem really cool, of course, and it's great to hide the shelves behind you, but again, lots of energy being used and just, yeah, just... Turn, turn them off. off the camera. Turn okay. them off. Um, wow. So your job is actually essentially to develop and design websites that are sustainable. So when mm -hmm. it comes to actual websites that we're using, what is the biggest issue? Uh, typically the biggest issue is just uh, you know, why we're building the sites in general. So the uh, best example is that like a restaurant website. You may have gone to a restaurant website you probably just need the menu. You need the contact information, but you're hit with everything along the way. Mm. Um, with all design, we tend to overthink uh, what our customers need, but we typically just need to do the one task. So that's what our job is kind of focused on. We look at what a business has uh, to accomplish, and we design towards that. And we will add extra things after the fact. Uh, a lot of those things are images, videos, and whatnot as well. Yeah. They're not necessarily needed. Not everyone can see them. That's right. Either. Wow. Yeah. Drew, this has been eye-opening. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of these wonderful tips to reduce our carbon footprint. It's so great having you on the show. Hey there. What did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.